So you're out there and struggling to find out about Jamaican real estate. What's really happening? What you're hearing? Things are coming on the market. Apartments are going like crazy. Are they really being sold? How can I get information? Well, that's a, a problem a lot of my clients have had over the years. What I've tried to do is put a snapshot together of what Jamaican real estate is doing and release that in my newsletter. So I'm going to run through that newsletter with you today, uh, most recent one, just to kind of give you some perspective in terms of what's happening in Jamaican real estate. So if that's something that you're interested in, stick around for this video. All right. If it's your first time here, my name is Ariel. I'm a licensed realtor based in Jamaica Real Estate Associate. I assist my clients with buying and selling properties right here in Jamaica. And if that's something that you might be interested in, definitely stick around. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, hitting that post notification bell so you don't miss any of the updates that I do. I'm trying my best to do more videos, but you'll find out. Being in real estate is uh, very time consuming. It takes a lot of your time. But the information has to get out there and I try my best to get it done for my clients, all right? So in this video, as I said, I'm gonna detail uh, or give a snapshot about one of my real estate newsletters. Now it's really just a snapshot. There's too many things happening, many, many things. Um, so I try to detail things that um, from the, 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 the outset kind of gives you a glimpse into what is happening. So you will see this is about how many properties are listed, how many properties are, are closed or sold during a, a specific period. You see some of the information in terms of some properties that are coming up for sale, new developments that are coming on stream. I'll give you a little glance about that. Um, what else? I mean, if you want to get connected with mortgage officers, if you want to get connected with um, or find out about the property value that you have, you know, if you want to find out about equity, I'll give you some insight into some of that right here in my newsletter. So stick around and check it out. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. So this is um most recent newsletter. Um, this one was sent out on May the 5th, um, which is actually today, depending on when you're seeing it. Now, I typically send out this um, categorized based on a specific time period, because again, there's a lot happening in Jamaican real estate. So kind of give it in bite sizes, all right? So for this one, the period that we paid attention to was April the 26th to May, uh, April the 26th to May the 3rd. Um, during that period, we found 4,352 properties on the market, which is somewhat within the realm of average. We are slowly kind of trending down. It's normally maybe a year and a half ago, it was typically in the 5,000s. So it is trending down a little bit, um, but that's still a sizable amount of properties um, for our region, all right? Um, newly listed properties during that time, 275, which again, pretty consistent. You know, we tend to average about maybe 260 listings um, during any week, pretty much. Um, so that continues to trend in a positive light or consistently. Uh, properties that received offers, 135, pretty consistent as well during the uh, a weekly period. Um, closed sales or rentals during that period, 61. Now, this is where I have noticed a little bit of a decline, right? Um, I guess many theories can be raised as to why there would be a decline on, on closings. It's stemming from quite a few things. It's stemming from um, the background infrastructure behind sales. You know, our sales in Jamaica sadly take a little time um, and has been taking a little more time in the, maybe the past year and a half, 18 months. They're about two years. Um, so I'm figuring that that will also contribute a little bit to the decrease in sales. It's, it's just taking a longer time. One, two, there's less buyers on the market. Uh, a lot of the buyers that jumped into the market um, two years ago, uh, what I consider the COVID impact, a lot of those persons are, are no longer, it's not as many of them. Um, you know, same thing. Interest rates are high locally and overseas. So, I mean, even persons in diaspora who want to buy, they have to kind of strategize that buy. You know, so 
sales are the closure of sales is is slowing down but there is still properties properties are still being listed um what we need is you know persons to put properties on the market at the right price but that's for a whole other conversation all right so what i also tend to do is give some insight into maybe some developments that are coming up on the horizon so this one this first one that we're looking at here is philly court um positioned at mannings hill road so that's in the, the havendale area kingston 19. um it's brand new it's currently under construction will be completed in our eyeing completion for june of 2025 and it's going to have like 47 units in total um two bedrooms these first set of units that are currently on the market uh, will be a thousand square feet and the developer is giving us a discount of 34 million i'll put them on the market for 34 million now when i say discount it is again driven from some level of data the average price point for two bedrooms in that area now are trending closer to 40 million right 40 41 million now for the savvy investor they may see the opportunity in this you buy into this at 34 million today when that property closes um in 2025 the property value is more than likely going to balloon to maybe just about 44 million 45 million 48 million you know really relatively easily now you would have earned what's that 10 million dollars in a year you know so that is that is some level of foresight properties like this or opportunities like this where you're able to buy in um with some equity already in the in the bag is always good so i mean if if that's something that you're interested in definitely check check this out um in the newsletters i always provide a link to the properties or some of them <laughs> um so something like this you can check out the photos so this is the proposed rendering of what it will look like. So you'll have the pool, the play area for the kids, of course. You know, adequate parking, there's some parking underground as well. Elevator, you know, yeah, standard complex, quote unquote. Now you can also check out some details about it. So as i was saying it's going to be a thousand square feet i uh, normally have some other details there you can even check out the location about where it is right so this ties into jamaica's mls so it gives you a live look in terms of what's happening all right so that's philly court next is uh the pinnacle now the pinnacle is this is going to be a landmark development for for us in jamaica this these developers are pushing a, a thought around what luxury can mean in jamaica so a lot of what we we have seen and been exposed to on tv for some of us um in for example places like miami right or miami beach they are bringing that kind of thing to us here in jamaica so this will be um four towers uh 28 stories high a mixture of residential and short-term long-term rental will be there one of the towers will be a fully run hotel so you'll have amenities of course the cabanas and the pools um barbecue areas they'll have a salt water pool that extends for the pretty much the whole stretch of the development there'll be gyms meeting rooms um these prices um i think they're probably starting maybe in the maybe 200s very likely um but for something like this we definitely have to have one-on-one -on -one conversations because they've just really started to break ground on this and they're being very careful about how they they market this development so again for somebody who would be interested in this they just need to send me an email that link actually takes them straight to to an email and we'll discourse on it now, the next thing I always kind of preview the most viewed property for the week. Now, during the week, you'll tend to find a lot of properties that put up on the market. Uh, the most viewed property, um, the MLS has that background data, pulls it from the interest that it garners online. Because as you understand, with the Jamaican MLS, it pushes to multiple real estate websites. 
so it's about the interest in the property the amount of viewership it gets the amount of clicks that it gets um this property has by far the most the most viewership for that period and normally it's primarily based on the price this is a fixer up a two bedroom in portmore uh coming on the market for 10 million so it's the greater portmore area as i said this is a fixer upper so you know you can imagine but again at 10 million for a two bedroom that's not too bad i wouldn't be too surprised if that closes over asking price that's what's more than likely going to happen um by the showing of this video i believe at least one viewing was already done and they'll be more than likely putting in some offers this coming week so depending on how quickly you see this you may be able to just jump in real quick but let me know also i tend to feature a few listings each week um so this one that i'm featuring is a two-bedroom property right there in um bird soccer bird soccer is up by barbican this is a relatively small complex i believe there may be 12 units in there this is a two-bedroom you know fairly spacious i mean especially in today's market of space it's 1300 square feet uh, this one was fairly recently built i don't believe this is more than six to eight years old it's not I have to double check but you have a little balcony space of course and of course you have underground parking you have the rooftop deck area and the pool and this is on the market for 47 million 47.5 million now we're moving on to the next featured property which is this rental right here in portmore all right so two bedroom at phoenix park this one is grilled has ac units i changed out some of the lighting fixtures added the backsplash and of course a little snippet about phoenix park so the gated community 120,000. that was that one um i also kind of highlight a few of the listings on the market for sale for example, this property here um, in Kingston 10, on Sunset Drive of Red Hills. This is a two bedroom as well. This developer does quite a few developments in that area. So you definitely call him a specialist. He knows what to do on a lot of his developments. You tend to have a lot of investment owners in there. This one is on the market for 40 million. I do think that that's a pretty good price. I wouldn't be surprised if that closes a little over asking as well. All right, here's a little nugget in the bag Eltham Park. Looks decent enough from the outside. Are those those quick picks, right? Yeah. So this is a two bedroom, two bath. 1200 square feet in elton park uh they're looking for 21 million on this one mm, not bad here's another one for sale at the uh the via at bremar 525,000 is the asking price this is a two bedroom it's one of the more recently the uh recent developments in the area this one was done by proven um and has been has been doing very well for a lot of the persons who bought in early equity has grown a lot for these persons persons who do airbnbs in this development um or short-term rentals they also tend to do very well um centrally located it's right in new kingston you are pretty close to you know almost anything business district to food to entertainment and the amenities in this development are are pretty good you know 24 hour security parking is sufficient um lounge spaces rooftop deck pool you know the views from up there are pretty good so this is a uh, definitely one to consider as well here is another one for sale this property is up by forest hills um this is maybe more uh, belvedere this is maybe one of my favorite developments as well um this developer does a lot of work in red hills 
actually call him the king of the hill this is one of my favorite developments a lot of space um he's very passionate about you know like palm trees and things like that so you'll find things like that in his developments this one is a three bedroom townhouse so how they deliver this development is one main gate for the development and a separate gate for the townhouses uh, which may be about six yeah maybe about six townhouses that are there this one is currently on the market for sale no nice little layout five hundred thousand us is what they're looking for two thousand five hundred square feet so it's a pretty nice space and this development has a very nice pool let me see if i can find a quick photo of it that pool and that pool spaces is very very nice very very nice and tucked away and you do have a nice little view of the city from some angles i would have tried to get a photo of it but they missed it and did opportunity all right so uh, what you also have the opportunity to do with all of my newsletters is actually jumping straight to jamaica's mls to do a little bit of searches so if you want to see properties that are for sale, you just tap on that and you see it takes you right in there. And of course, you can do a, a more detailed search if you like. Easy enough. Um, here are some things for rent. Here's a property in Bogue Village for 125000 nice additions and renovations done on this one so it's nice and clean and both villages one of those um favorite communities in the montego bay area here is a three bedroom in portmore cedar grove mm -hmm. for 110 nice self-contained space i wouldn't have put pink on the wall but to each their own it's a nice space, yeah? And of course, you can do some searches for rentals, just the same. And what I also try to do is to link uh, one of the videos that I do. So this video is one of um, a property Hello, appreciation Hello, my name is Vic, and highlight. I help people build real deal, you, YouTube, successful affiliate. Hey, yeah. okay. so I always try to feature some video that I, that I do again just to try to get the the information out this was on property appreciation prices in caribbean estate many persons have you know they it's it's amazing to them to see how far prices appreciated in caribbean estate if you're interested in finding that out go check out that video all right uh all the others no what I keep reinforcing to all my clients as well is to find out where your finances are. If you're going to be serious about hunting for properties, you need to know what you can afford. Now, you can connect with a mortgage officer here from my newsletter every time. I keep that consistent. If you want to connect with a mortgage officer, you tap on that link and put your information in and I'll connect you with a mortgage officer right away. Similarly, if you have a property or properties, um, maybe you're considering for sale, maybe you just want to get some information about, about these properties, what you can do is get a comparative market analysis from me. This is almost as good as getting a valuation done. I use pretty much the same, the same details as the valuers um, in terms of using the, the, the closely comparative properties around you to help to give you an idea of what the market may be willing to pay for your property. So this is always something that I, I try to keep my clients informed about. So again, if that's something that you might be interested in, you can certainly reach out and get that done here. And if you want to get something like that done, you know, just leave the comment um, on YouTube. I'll definitely reach out and we can figure that out together. All right. So yeah, so that is... The newsletter uh let me know what you think all the 
the properties that I clicked on, I'm going to put a link for them in the video below. So just check it out if you're interested in any of those. And of course, if you are on the market for any properties, you definitely let me know. All right. So, yeah, so that's it for now. Um, if there's anything you saw that was interesting to you or if you like what was presented, you know, consider giving the video a thumbs up. It would help to kind of get that information out. I certainly consider subscribing to the channel. I try to put more information out about Jamaican real estate. Definitely check out the other videos on the channel. I also feature more things about Jamaican real estate there. And I'll put some videos here targeted just for you. So be sure to check them out. And of course, if there are anything um, anything about Jamaican real estate that you want to know more about, if anything that you think could improve the you know these kind of deliveries, these newsletters, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, the idea about the, the newsletter is really just to educate persons about what's happening in real estate. So this is just my overview or my perception of what that could be. Just let me know um, if it's something that I can put into a newsletter that won't be too bulky, too overpowering. I'll try my very best to put it in there. And, you know, we just try to educate everybody. There's a lot happening in Jamaican real estate. And it is important for us to make wise choices. And we can't do, we can't make those wise choices based on what a random person is saying on YouTube. <laughs> but we have to drive it from, from data, our decisions. You know, we have to drive that from information. Um, as realtors, we do have access to a lot of information. So I'm just trying my best to put it out there for you. So again, if there's things that is important to you, let us know or let me know. I'll try my best to put it together. If you have questions about it, uh, check it out. Um, of course, the links are all below for the properties that are, are posted. Uh, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, the link is also below. Sign up, check it out. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. All right.